just gonna give it to you. Wait for you to get it on your own. X go deliver to you. Knock, knock, open up the door to spill. It's a non-stop pop up and stainless steel. Alrighty, hey yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy King Crash, and back in today with another video. I just have to make this quick voiceover because something's wrong with my video editor. So yeah, um, this is gonna be the MLAB thumbnail tutorial. So yeah, I'll go ahead and send the rest over to you guys, and I'll see you guys all next one. Peace. Um, well, I'll just call him Abby, but yeah, whatever you guys. Um, so I'm gonna teach you guys how to make thumbnails today. So here are um, all my fonts I use. Here, just go ahead and like... Like just write them down or whatever. You're, um, like here, here's some more positive video and write them down because I'm not gonna show you guys in the comment section. I have so many fonts, but right now I'm gonna go ahead and pick one of my fonts right here. Um, I don't know why it says all fonts. I don't want to use those fonts. Those fonts are really bad. So um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and use this font right here. And I'm just gonna put and wait. No, actually, I want to use this font. Like this font is my best font ever. So I'm just gonna name this thumbnail then tutorial. So. I'm gonna put this right here and then tutorial. Um, that's definitely not how you spell tutorial. Oh my goodness, I forgot I did not have um, a O in it. Tutorial. Alright, tutorial. Alright, there we go. Um, and it might look a little bit weird right now. That's because this font cell isn't that good as the iOS version. And I would record, I would be recording this on my phone, but um, like Photoshop Touch is having some problems, you guys. Really having some like big issues. So. Um, so yeah, if you guys wanted to space out like this, because, um, I know the Heroes Legend font will be weird, just go to, um, Style, and then go to Line, and if you guys want to get rid of this stupid glitch, just, um, do this, and then there it goes, done, so, this is how the text will look, like a raw text right here, I'm gonna go ahead and go to PS, PS Touch, oh, I'm sorry, that was my computer desk, so I'm gonna go ahead and go to PS Touch, and show you guys how I do my thumbnails, and it's really weird, PS Touch is, like, really weird right now, so, um, yeah, I'll see you guys all in PS Touch, and I'll show you guys, um, how, well, how to do the MLAB part. See you guys there. Alright, so here's a thumbnail that I was making for Abby's, um, or Abby right now. And see, look, when I press save, look what happens, you guys. Like, it doesn't save it at all. Like, there's nowhere, it's nowhere to be found. Like, no matter how many times I search it, or whatever, or how many times I save it. And then look, when I press add folder, and type in some like DDD, look, it doesn't do anything. Like, I don't know what's wrong with this Photoshop version. That's why it takes me a longer time to make thumbnails, and it's really annoying. So, I really don't know what's going on. Like, adult really needs to help me. Then, when I try and sign into my other stuff, it doesn't work. So, I really do not get this Photoshop version. It's very annoying. But, um, yeah, I'm just going to show you guys how to um, make the thumbnail. So, I'm going to go ahead and um, make the thumbnail right now. So, I'm just going to do it. Oh, yeah, just do 1280 by 720. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to leave a link to PS Touch down in the description down below because. Holy crap, like, that, that's, like, really hard to get that, but, um, yeah, I'm gonna go show you guys how to do it now, um, the MLAP style, and I actually do have, um, all these pictures here, as you see, um, all these effects, like, right here, um, just download it from Mofuzz's GFX Pack 30K, I'll leave a link down in the description for that, too, along with some more other things, and I have a graphics pack, too, but I forgot where I put it, so, I'm not gonna grab it for this video, but today, right now, we are going to go ahead and go into Fonto, get this font right here, and, there we go, you guys. Um, and to take away the black bits, um, I know how to do that. It's really easy. Just go ahead and get this tool right here, and do this. Go to cut, and there we go. And to get all these black spots off, um, I don't think it does this on iOS though. Um, just do this. Put the plus button like right here, you guys. As you can see, um, I should have had like um, like something to help, you, like something to guide you guys with. But um, I'll do that in the next video. Maybe I'll do another MLab or Jockey style thumbnail tutorial. But here we go, you guys. That's how it is going to be. Um, let's go ahead and get rid of that. And we're going to go ahead and um, do this from layers from selection like this. And go to plus and go to layer from selection. And then after that, you just go ahead and press cut. And then there we go. Hide this for now. And we're going to go ahead. Oops. Not hide that. We're going to do this from here. So I'm going to go ahead and do select pixels. And now we're going to go to the gradients tab. Just go to end and gradients. And here's how I only have two gradients. I will make more sooner or later. But um, yeah, for right now, I'm just going to go ahead and get a different gradient. So I'm just going to go here. And you guys could copy this gradient. I'm going to have my um, pack in the description down below too. And I actually do have a selfie shop. So I might be selling stuff on there soon. I'm not sure, you guys. But let me just go ahead and um, do this. I think it's going to copy the same thing. Um... There we go. It should be. It should be right. It should be right. Um, so in this uploaded video, I can just tell um, because of the way my tab looks. All right, here we go. Um, 
All right, it should be a little bit orange. Um, oranges or something like that. Um, not red. Here we go. Here we go. This is the orange. Um, all right, so there we go. And we're going to do it for this one, too. So let's go ahead and get this um, eyedropper thingamajiggy. And here you go, you guys. That is going to be the color that we use. Um, you guys might have seen this color on one of my thumbnails. But yeah, you guys, here we go. This is like, like this is the first time in history someone actually made a better in my touch tutorial. Like, I'm the one that's making the best one. So hopefully this video gets a lot of views on that. So yeah, guys, let's go ahead and go to empty layer and make a fill and stroke. So right here, and I go ahead and go to fill, and we're gonna go ahead and get this yellow one right here. So. This is what what this is gonna do is gonna make um, a Gaussian blur or however you say that name. So we're gonna go ahead and go to um, you guys seen that right there. Go to FX and then Gaussian blur. Gaussian, I don't know how to say it, but um, and go to 20. I'm mean, not 20, 10. Because with 10, it makes it look way better. Not 20 because 20 is just too much of a blur. So what we're gonna do now is going to um, go here and then we're gonna go to linear dodge. And hopefully I'm not going too fast for you guys because it looks like I am kind of. But um, duplicate layer. And then we're gonna merge it down a little bit um, and smidge it up with the um, opacity right here. There we go. And merge it down once again. And now we got the, um, you know, kind of glow going, the inner glow. Yeah, that's what it's called. So duplicate layer and fill and stroke, I think. Um, yeah, fill and stroke if you guys wanna um, have a film, like a, a stroke. So, not that kind of stroke. Be, you, you know, you know, you know. I'm not doing any memes this episode. So. Yeah, here you go. What we're going to do is going to go ahead and go to stroke. And um, this is going to be the stroke color right here. So I'm going to go ahead and add it right here. And there you go, you guys. You, you could go ahead and put it at 8 or 6 or something like that. Don't, just don't put it like really high. Or the thumbnail is going to look really ugly. So I'm just going to put it at 5 for this thumbnail. Um, and yeah, you guys. So now to do something I just figured out. We're going to go ahead and do duplicate layer. And you guys don't have to do this if you don't want to. Um, select pixels. And cuts and then we're gonna go ahead and go to the FX Gaussian blur I'm not Gaussian blur um, so right here drop shadow now you guys might be thinking this is gonna be ugly but no it's not gonna be ugly you're just gonna go ahead and go to one and you guys see what I'm doing I'm just creating this little like glow thing right here you guys can see the whites the white lines um, I might have to make it on six because they look like they're going a little bit too far out. so yeah that's how you do that part I know a whole lot of people want to know how I do it. Like, I got you, man. I got you guys. You, soon, once you guys get done watching this tutorial, you're going to be making some awesome thumbnails. So, I'm going to go ahead and go to Duplicate Layer and um, Select Pixels. So, we go ahead and get that Fill and Stroke going again. But, I'm just going to do Fill this time. And, just do a minus 10 on this. Like, maybe like 69 or something like that. Um, and, we're going to go ahead and Transform. And, do this. And, this is just going to create um, like a 3D effect to it. Um, there's not many f much 3D effects on Photoshop Touch, but yeah, that's how you gonna do. That's how you do the first text. We're gonna go ahead and do this next text now. You guys already know how to do it, so I'm just gonna go ahead and speed through this, and I'll see you guys all on the other side. Peace. <laughs> So I am done with the second text. It did not take any time at all, so it was pretty quick. So now what we're gonna go ahead and do is going to go ahead and merge down. And now here comes the um, way easier part, I guess, because the text part is kind of hard um, for you guys, not for me actually. But now what we're gonna go ahead and do is duplicate layer, and we're gonna go ahead and go to fill and stroke. And now what this is gonna do is get another stroke, but it's like a way better stroke. So um, 25, and that should be good enough. Um, yeah, looks perfect, looks perfect, but we got this little space right here, so I'm just going to go ahead and do fill and stroke for that, so I'm just going to go ahead and fill, so you get rid of, um, you know, the spots in the background, so there you go, that's how you do that, and we're going to go ahead and do this one more time, and go ahead and go to select pixels, and then we're going to go ahead and go to fill, alright, so that's right, that's right, and now here, what we're going to do is merge it down a little bit, and go ahead and go to, oh, voice track, I'm sorry for that, um, Alright, so, yeah, this is good, this is good. Yep, this is good. Um, Gushin Blur, and there we go, that's how we do that part. So, yeah, this part is awesome. Like, this looks, this text looks good, like, you guys. It looks really good, so. Now, what we're gonna do is get the, um, like, you, you, know, you know, like, screenshot or something. If you guys have any screenshots or whatever, um, 
or like if you have anything from the downloads list, I got that from my last thumbnail. Um, I'm not sure what I want to get to download, like what I want the picture to be. So, you know, let's go ahead and do this. Let's do this. Um, it might be, it might look good. So, um, there you go. Let's go ahead and get yourself an image. Um, uh, I think it's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. So I think I used this on one of my videos too, but um, I might change it sooner, sooner or later. Well, here we go, you guys. That's how we do this part. Um, we're gonna go ahead and go to merge it down and fill i'm not feeling stroke Gusion blur there we go we're gonna go ahead and put on 12 um so that should be pretty good and now i'm gonna show you guys the easier part or this easiest part in this tutorial so i'm gonna go ahead and go through photo layer um it's in my downloads list right now so uh should be easy for me here we go we're gonna go ahead actually i want um you know i want this one this one this one's pretty cool so yeah yes this one looks good this one's really good so we're gonna go ahead and go to lighten and that makes this stuff looks way better. So yeah, this effect is pretty good. I like I like love this effect a lot. I use it on most of my thumbnails. So now what we're gonna do is select all and fill in stroke, but it's not gonna be like that. That's just stupid. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and go to here and put this on 35 or 25 or like 40. I'm not sure. You, know, you guys put it could put it on whatever you want. And now what we're gonna do is put it on overlay. And as you can see, it creates that type of effect, you guys. So. Now I'm going to do duplicate layer, and it's not going to look the same. It's going to be like a filling truck again, but, um, actually, um, all right, yeah, that should be good. That should be good. And now what we're going to do is put it on this, so it won't, like, affect much of it. So, um, yeah, you guys can see the difference. It's adding, like, a black layer or whatever. So, merge it down. It looks a little bit better now. So, yeah, that is it, I guess. Um, if you guys want to add another fire effect in there. Um, you guys can go ahead and do that, like this effect, or that effect. I'm gonna add this one, though. Um, you can barely see it, by the way. I don't know why. But, um, alright, here we go, here we go. It looks a little bit better now. Wait, hold up, let's go ahead and put on lighten again. Um, don't put on linear dodge, though. It's gonna not show right. But, um, yeah, you guys, there it goes. I'm gonna go ahead and put this down a little bit. Brightness. Um, there we go. Alright, so it looks way better now. So, yeah, that is going to be the end of the tutorial, guys. Thank you guys all so much for watching this video. If I save it, it's not going to work, so I'm just going to go ahead and do this um, and screenshot it later. So, yeah, thank you guys all so much for watching this video. If you guys all did enjoy this video, so go ahead and try to hit 20 likes on the video. If this hits, like, um, like 1,000 views in the feed, just go ahead and hit 50 likes. I don't know. But, yeah, it is been your boy, King Chris MC. Thank you guys all so much for watching this tutorial. I'll leave all links in the description down below. I'll see you guys all in the next video. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Peace out, you guys.